Hey, Steve here at Silk Road Catalyst. I have a confession to make. I once embraced relational evangelism, but now I somewhat cringe when I hear the term. So stick with me and find out why. Now let's get started. Thanks for sticking with me. As you watch this episode, I want you to think about friends who need to hear this message and then forward it to them. And while you're at it, I encourage you to like this video and subscribe to our channel. To share my thoughts on relational evangelism, let me tell you this story. A friend of mine served for two years as a missionary in India. Near his home in India lived a Hindu priest. So after a year of building trust with this Hindu priest, my friend shared the gospel. The Hindu priest was cordial, he was engaging, but he had no interest in it and not because he was a Hindu. He had no interest because my friend waited a whole year before saying a word about Christianity. For this Hindu priest, my friend's faith wasn't valuable enough because he waited too long to say anything about it. While I was living in China, I used this same strategy. But I learned over time that I didn't need to build relationships with anyone to share the gospel. In fact, when I approached people in light of relational evangelism, I rarely got anywhere with them when I finally shared the gospel. On the flip side, when I intentionally included my faith into my conversations from the very beginning in one form or another, I found my new friends more willing to talk about Christ even when we didn't know anything about each other. And here's why. First, if we're going to build trust with people, we need to be honest with them. I'm not talking about divulging our secret little closet secret kind of things because our faith shouldn't be one of those little secrets. It should be considered the most valuable part of our lives. The one part that influences every aspect of our lives. So why keep it to ourselves in the name of building trust? If we can't be honest about our faith because it is a major part of us, we are not building trust. Instead, we might actually be creating obstacles. Second, we should build those relationships, but not to share the gospel. Instead, we build them so that our lives give evidence to what we are claiming to believe. Make it known that you follow Christ from the beginning, and then allow your life to prove it as you build trust with your new friends. For example, one of the first people I ever met in China heard the gospel from me soon after we first met. I didn't wait to build a relationship to share it. I found a way to share it. And three years later, he gave his life to Christ. And during a conversation I had after he believed the gospel, he told me that when he first met me, he had heard what I believed. And then he watched me for three years to see if my life lined up with my beliefs. That is what my relationship with him allowed me to do. Prove my faith. And finally, don't use what I'm saying as an excuse to be one of those people who walk around screaming, you're going to hell if you don't repent, kind of person. That is not an effective strategy unless you want to annoy people. So the big question is, how do you bring up your faith? Easy. I use what I call God statements. A God statement is like bait when you go fishing. There's no guarantee you'll catch anything, but you have to throw out bait to catch fish. In the same way, you have to throw out gospel bay to see who is sensitive to spiritual conversations. God statements are merely statements that point your listener to God in one form or another. It's not necessarily an outright gospel presentation from A to Z. It's simply a statement that shows the listener that you believe in Christ. For example, you could say, can I pray about something for you? Or find a way to talk about your church or something your pastor said. Or try to find ways to simply say the word God in your conversations. Not in a profane way, but in a way that points to Christ. We've got statements throughout all your conversations with the lost. Many may not respond to them. Some may try to change the conversation, and I've had that happen many times. And some might not like what you have to say, but eventually, you'll find people who want to engage you back and learn more. So yes, be relational with people. Build those relationships. Let them see your life line up with what you believe. Also, be intentional and talk about God often. Use those God statements. But for heaven's sake, don't wait long to make your faith known in the name of building relationships or relational evangelism. Eternity is at stake and hell is real. I'll see you next time.